What's up guys, it's your boy Scotty here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the team list that have just come out for today, which you'll probably be seeing this tomorrow, because it'll probably be Friday time you see this, but um, the team list that come out for today is a double header, the Raw vs Western Sydney Wanderers, and the women's team, the women's Raw, Raw team vs Canberra United, so I'll start off with the men's team just because I know the men more, and I follow them a lot more than I do the women's, not to be sexist, it's just I follow them a lot more than I have before. But um, there's been five promoted players this week. So we've got Alex Lopez promoted, Steph Negro, Nick D'Agostino, Aaron Reardon, and then Jay Barnett. And Jacob Pepper, Eric Bosiak, and Matt Mackay have all been suspended for five yellow cards. So we've got Alex Lopez returning. Great great player to have back there in the team. Should start. Uh, D'Agostino, I would like to either see start or maybe come off the bench, definitely. Reardon, if we do want to play three back or, f or five back, or whatever we're going to call it that we did last week. I see. I could see him coming into the team as the third centre back. Otherwise, I don't think he'd play. Not even on the bench. Jay Barnett. If we play a four-three-three, I feel like he'll be on the bench. But um, I'll go with my team that I predicted. I've also written it down, so I'll, I'll show you a quick photo of it. You probably, you probably will be able to read and ignore my shitty handwriting here. But I'll go through it with you anyway. So obviously, Jamie Young goal. There's no really doubts there. Our best keeper at the club. And sorry to Brenda White, but it's obvious Jamie Young is a beast. Had another stellar season this season, so I would, yeah, definitely Jamie Young in goal. If we do want to go back to the 3-4-3 three, three, like we played last week, I didn't think we played too badly. But, um, yeah, this is how I would play. I would play Bowles at the right side, just because he's played right back before. Right side of the centre-back, Devere in the middle, and then Reardon on the left. So we've got three centre-backs across there. And then we've got Jack Ingett on the right wing back, or right back, whatever you want to call it. Um, the O2 on the left full-back part. And then you've got Lopez and Coletti in the middle. So I don't think Christian has the legs to be in the middle anymore or in the team. So that's why I've gone with Coletti and Lopez. And then three up front. So a right winger, a left winger, and a striker. At right wing, I have Dane Ingham. At striker, I have Taggart. And then at left wing, usually be Bodiak, but he's injured. So I have a choice here. Do I play Henrique? Always good off the bench. Do I play Nicholson? Which is like, he's not very showed a lot of time, a lot of form when he's come in and played. Or do I play Dylan Wenzel Hall, which is hungry for goals and young and is going to give us a lot of energy? And I think Wenzel Hall deserves his opportunity this is the week to play the kid. And obviously, we know his talent. He scored like a hat full of goals in the NPL. And him starting on the left wing, he's played there for pride when he was there. So I think that would be a very good team if we do play him at 3 4 3. And on the bench would be Brennan White, Steph Negro, D'Agostino, Mickelson, and Henrique, with Christian and Barnett dropping out. But if we do play our 4 3 3, fourth variation on FIFA anyway, where they have attacking mid, how we've played in the last few weeks before last week. This is how I've written it. You probably can't see it anyway, but once again, I'll go through it with you. So, obviously, Young in goals, Hingit, Bowles, Hingit at right back, Bowles, Devere at centre back, and then O2 at left back. Coletti and Lopez in the midfield, and then at attacking midfield at 10, have D'Agostino. On the wing, have Ingham, Taggart, and then Dylan Wenzel Halls. I feel like Dylan Wenzel Halls deserves his spot as much as Dan Ingham has because they, they both shown a lot when they've come in on the wings and they're definitely a lot better than Mickelson and Henrique starting because the older boys they don't show a lot of intent and like a lot of energy. Like Henrique shows a lot of energy off the bench, Mickelson doesn't really show a lot, but off the bench, definitely, I would like to see him come off the bench more than start. So on the bench for the 4 3 3, if you're going to play that formation, we have Brandon White, Steph Negro. Jay Barnett, which will come in and play his debut, hopefully. Uh, Mickelson and Henrique, which will drop out, which means Christian will drop out on both my team lists. I don't think he'll make the team this week, or maybe even at all, really, for the rest of the season. I think he's done. And then Aaron Reardon, because we only would need five defenders in the team if we play four at the back, one on the bench, four starting. So I think Reardon will drop out if we play a 4-3-3-4. Four, three, three, four. So, Western Sydney Wanderers haven't had the best run of form, neither have we. Home crowd there, double header. I'm predicting a 2-1 here, and if Dylan Del Wenzel Hall starts, I predict him to score as well as target. So, we'll see how that goes there. And then we go on to the women. Obviously, I don't know a lot about the women, but in saying that, we have got a pretty, a pretty good team. Like, I know it's it's important that Katrina Gorey has been out injured for the rest of the season, but we do have a lot of good players. Like, we've got Chimoa Ugu. Uga Abu Gogu, whatever her name is, the English lady from, um, yeah, she returns back from England international duty, so she'll be a big boost for the team. Alera Toby has been playing really well, scoring a lot of goals. Yuki Nagasako, great player, our um, foreign import, and then Haley Rasso back from injury last week, Ribbons Rasso, and hopefully she can play a lot of games now. She's back from injury and played really well. 
We also at the back, Claire Pockenhorn and Gemma McCormick, my girl, playing really well, as well as Carson Pickett, playing a lot of minutes, playing very well for the team, and also Mackenzie Arnold, the backup uh, slash Australian goalkeeper. So we've got a pretty good team on paper. India Paige Riley, I know she scored a goal that week, and everyone saw her um, interview. She's like, she's like, oh, it's come off you. It's like, Indy! And then she had like the really funny face, but... um. We've got a lot of good attacking players. Like our midfield, I don't really know a lot about midfield. I know Summer O'Brien, but she's out, she's out with a hamstring injury. And Katrina Gorry, obviously. Unfortunately, Tim Butt's not out longer at the club. So our midfield's lacking a little bit of my input anyway. I don't really know a lot about the women's team. But I know our midfield's probably our weakest point in our team, just looking at the team sheet. So in saying that, I am predicting a 2-0 win to the women's team. I'm going to be there at the women's game as well to watch the... Um, Raw, hopefully beat Canberra United and also the Raw men's team beat Western Sydney Wanderers and also the youth team which aren't actually playing at Suncorp are playing at Lakeside Stadium so hopefully they get the result as well and get the win and hopefully we get some see some silverware in those two teams and hopefully all three teams win so um, yeah I'm hopefully gonna maybe do a vlog of the game day so get keen for that guys just like predictions with um, my mates and stuff as well as like some game day experience and some vlogs and some see, see what's going on outside of the stadium before the game starts as well as like inside the stadium we'll see if I can get some footage for you guys to put it all together and hopefully you guys will see that on Saturday night but um, anyway it's been Scotty I hope you like this video remember to comment like subscribe and I'm out peace